And while resources to fight these fires are being stretched thin, crews in Jefferson County are working to control the quarry fire. That's where we can find your reporter Jasmine Arenas. Uh, Jasmine, you learned earlier this morning they're now investigating this fire as arson. Good morning, Brian, and preliminary findings show, according to investigators, that this fire may have been human caused in some matter. Now, this creates a very upsetting, disheartening, and frustrating situation for many, knowing the fact that those resources to fight the wildfires here in Colorado are already stretched thin. Additional firefighters will be on the lines today to fight this wildfire that has already burned 450 acres. That's 100 more acres in the last 24 hours. However, the fire remains at 0% containment, and the reason is the nature of the terrain. Another hotshot crew will be boots on the ground battling the quarry fire on the east side where the terrain is steep and difficult. That's what officials are saying now. They also say that they're remaining cautiously optimistic in containing this fire, but the caveat will be the isolated thunderstorm slated for today with an expectation for wind and lightning. As for evacuees waiting to get back into their homes, that may not be a possibility this weekend. Officials also warn those on pre-evacuation orders to be on the lookout and to stay alert because anything can change as the fire and weather changes as well. I'm live in Jeffco. Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. All right, Jasmine, thank you so much. We want to get to